What's up guys, Sam here with Jello Bricks, and today we have a LEGO Leak special with brand new 2024 sets and the reveal of the final 25th anniversary LEGO Star Wars minifigure. Also, I'm giving away a free sealed copy of Boarding the Tantive 4. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel and comment down on this video. So sit back, relax, and strap yourself This is where the fun begins. Stick with me for LEGO Star Wars reveals, but in other themes, LEGO Transformers is making a comeback with set 10228 Bumblebee, which will be based off Hasbro's vintage G1 toy line. But that's not all because LEGO Avengers is also having a big year with two more sets being revealed with set 76290 Loki V's Leviathan including a similar Leviathan to the Avengers Tower set and set 76291 The Age of Ultron which is described as a play and display set including nine minifigures capturing the first battle. And with its 2024 revival going strong LEGO Space revealed a new April set 60439 The Space Science Lab. We also had keychains that were revealed for April, alongside a mystery 2025 icon set number which has been leaked, set 10359. Let me know your predictions down in the comments. But let's get into these LEGO Star Wars leaks now, because as you know, LEGO stated there would be six anniversary figures to celebrate 25 years of the LEGO Star Wars theme. And today we have a new 2024 leak and the reveal of the final 25th anniversary minifigure. So the LEGO Star Wars Visual Dictionary is set to release on April the 4th and retail at around $20. Now we knew that it would include a minifigure like in previous years, but we didn't know who or how LEGO was going to do this for the 25th anniversary. Now the cover shows off new characters like Cassian Andor and live action Ahsoka, along with sets like the T6 Shuttle. And before we get into exactly who the minifigure included is, let's recap the anniversary figure lineup so far, because just this week we had the first two released with Darth Malak inside the Builder Bore R2, retailing at $100, and Art Trooper 5's inside board in the Tantive, which retailed at $55, which leaves four unreleased figures, all of which are now confirmed. So first up, we have Rebel Saw Guerrero, who will have an armor piece and a cape included, and he's going to be released inside set 75383, the Sith Infiltrator, retailing at $70, and this was a fitting choice. We also have two minifigures we know, but in sets that have not yet been leaked. So we have Cal Kestis, which is going to be featured in a rumored summer Death Star placer, with a price point of approximately $150. And probably the worst choice overall, we also have Young Leia from the Kenobi show inside set 75392 an unknown creature build which retails at $100 and rumors suggest that this is going to be a Nexu or some kind of animal from upcoming unreleased Star Wars content. Which means it's time for the big reveal now because the visual dictionary includes the final of the 6th 25th anniversary minifigures. A 25th anniversary episode 1 The Phantom Menace Darth Maul. Zooming in the new Maul is a clear cut nod to the original 1999 version with the hood and the basic road printing and to me this is probably the most accurate episode 1 Maul Legos ever released. Unlike the other five anniversary figures confirmed so far, he also has an exclusive 25 years of Lego Star Wars silver back print. And in my last video, the 25 year evolution of the Lego Star Wars theme, Darth Maul played a key role in launching Lego Star Wars back in 1999. So it seems like a fittingly nostalgic choice for an anniversary figure. But if you remember correctly, Lego did say that these anniversary figures would all be characters that had never been released before and wouldn't be featured in any future sets, so it was their opportunity to release some unique, long overdue fan favourite characters that they kind of missed out on in their 25 year history. And it's this exact problem that's giving rise to such high quality custom minifigures at the moment that actually do give fans exactly what they want. Not only has Darth Maul been released many times before, but he's literally been released in a playset on May 1st. So why did LEGO not release this near perfect episode 1 version inside the Sith Infiltrator? I personally wouldn't mind if the no pupils Maul didn't exist at all. The Clone Wars version is the best by far anyways, but with all this in mind, it is possible that this Visual Dictionary Anniversary Darth Maul is an exclusive extra minifigure, and that we still have a sixth unknown official anniversary minifigure, but what do you make of this new Darth Maul? And if you think there is going to be a sixth anniversary figure, who's it going to be? Let me know down in the comments. But that's about everything. As soon as I know more about any of these 2024 leaks, I will update you guys. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe because that's all I've got, and I'll see you guys in the next video.